Hi. When Black Magic introduced Resolve 18 and the new Magic Mask Object Tracker, they bragged about the number of different types of objects that they had tested this feature with. Here's what they said in their presentation. This includes people, animals, vehicles, facial features, and countless other elements. Well, I say it's time to see how they did with animals. Okay, I thought we would start with this horse clip here. It's got good contrast in the clip. The areas where the tracker might struggle with it are the hair of the tail here, and maybe some of the hair on the mane of the horse. Also, the water in the surf splashing up around the horse's legs might also be a challenge for it. I'll play the clip a bit here so you can see that we're getting a lot of splashing around the hooves of the horse that the tracker might struggle with. The mane is also flying around in the wind. So those might be some areas that challenge the Magic Mask Tracker tool. I'll go over to the color page. There's a default node, but this clip already has a base set of corrections applied to it. I'll click on the Magic Mask pane here. Object masking is already selected. I'll turn the toggle mask overlay on. I'll also set it to better mode. I'll also set the clip to the first frame like this. We'll be using the Include or Plus Eyedropper tool to add initial strokes here. We'll add a stroke to the rear portion of the animal like this. The rider's leg kind of splits the horse in two, so I'll add another Include stroke on the front of the horse like this. Now I'll turn off the node display since we don't need it as well as the gallery so we can get a bigger viewer on the screen. As we can see here, it did a decent selection of the horse for us. Might be a little bit back here on the tail that we can add in. It's also adding in her foot to the mass, so we'll add a small exclude stroke there. Hopefully now this will track okay. I'll set the view back to fit, and we'll track and see what we get. Okay, the tracking is done, so let's play it back here. I saw a few issues in here, but on the whole, this looks pretty good. A nice starting position for the mask. Bear in mind that we're on beta software here. I'm sure Blackmagic Design is still working hard to refine this tool and improve what it's doing. It tracked the horse pretty well, but it's including the rider's upper thighs you can see right there. We'll stop this and scrub back a little bit so you can see the thighs included in the mask in this area, but you can add exclude strokes and fix that. In any event, you get the idea here. Now there was another spot that I noticed on the horse that would need some attention as well. You can see this rear leg on the horse has dropped out of the mast area, so we could just add another include stroke here to fix that. This actually did a very impressive job, especially with the tail hair, although not perfect. There are a few frames that mask the sky a bit, but this is not a magic bullet. You still have some work to do overall, but I think it did pretty well. Again, this is bait in. I I expect it will be improving over time. Okay, on to our next animal, which is a U with some lambs and a pen. I chose this U in this pen shot due to its lower contrast than the horse and due to the amount of foreground obstructions you can see in the clip, and I thought this would provide a good test of the masking system's ability to deal with this kind of issue. We'll stop it here and get back to the first frame and get over to the color page. I'll switch over to the magic mask pane here. Now I'll find a frame where most of the sheep is in the shot. That looks about right there. We'll start our masking from this frame here. Object selection is already active. I'll turn on the toggle mask overlay. Again, I'll set it to better mode. I'll use the plus eyedropper to add areas to be included in the mask. So I'll add strokes to the sheep where it's exposed between the obstructions. It picked up a bit of this bar here, so I'll exclude that. Now we can add the rest of the selection into the mass like so.
We have some stuff over here that we want to exclude now, so we'll do that. This little area here as well. Okay, this looks like a decent selection overall. Back here is a leg from the lamb behind the U. Now we can tell the Magic Mask to track both forward and backwards, so I'll let it do that real quick, and then we'll do a quick review of the results once it's finished. Okay, let's have a look at how it did. I can see where it had a few issues. It was including the lamb in the back over here, so we need to add an exclusion stroke to that area and retrack it. Also, the shot and track move across the obstructions. The tracker loses the mask on the leg of the U for a moment. Overall, though, considering the obstructions, I would say this is pretty impressive. It did lose this section right back here for a moment as well. Well, but as it passes by the obstructions, other than the used legs, I think it does a very impressive job. Just for grins, we'll go over to the wheels and dial up another color for it, see how effective the mask works for us as is. Overall, it's not perfect. It's not a magic bullet. You'll have to spend some time finessing these masks as you use this tool, but it does do a lot of the heavy lifting that you might have to do with a power window or fusion mask and hand animating it as you tracked it. Overall, I would say it did very well. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope it helps someone out there. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching this. If you liked the video, please click like as that helps other folks find it. And until the next video, take care.